Hello again you guys, uh, welcome to another video on how to tie a tie. Uh, for today, I'm going to teach you how to tie the full Windsor knot. Um, as you can see, it's a, a lot bigger of a knot than the forehand hand knot. It looks a lot cleaner as well. Um, it's got that symmetrical look to it. In my opinion, it's one of my favorite knots to tie, other than, like, say, the Eldridge or the Trinity, which um, I'll show you a little bit later on. But for right now, I'll show you how to do the full Windsor. It's pretty simple of a knot. Um, it's going to take a lot of fabric, though, so you will need to have the little end very short, um, as opposed to the forehand hand knot, where it's very long. Um, let's see. For the full Windsor, you want to have the short end about your fourth button high. That's usually where I do it. Um, at the bottom of your pocket as well. It's right going to be right in that little area. Um, and the long end is going to be very long. Because um, it's going to eat up a lot of fabric. <sighs> but, um, it's going to look really nice in the end. Uh, so, what you do is you take the little end in the left hand and the big end in the right hand. Um, you cross the little end into the middle of the shirt, which you would usually do anyways. Because um, you want to have the tie in the middle. Makes sense. Um, but then you take the big end and you go over the top, like that. And then you go around the back, and then up through the middle, right there. There we go. And then you have that going on. So then you take the big end and you go to the right, just like that. And then you go around the back. Okay? So you have that. It's kind of like a partial... I don't know, like a little cross type thing. <laughs> then what you do is you go over the top and then through the back. Okay? So then you have this kind of little triangle type thing going on right there. Then what you do is you take the big end, you go over the top, over the front, whatever you want to call it, right there. So it's kind of got the knot forming up. Then you go around the back and through the middle. There we go. See? You already got the knot formed right there. So then all you do is you just loosen up the knot a little bit. And then you go through it. Right there. Pull it through. Kind of pull on the big end a little bit to kind of uh, make it look even. And then to tighten it, like usual, you pull on the small end and you push up on the knot. Just like that. Okay? And as you can see, there's very little of the little end. It barely it reaches down to the fourth button, just like how we started. Um, but then you pop your collar down. Ah, there we go. And you have the full Windsor knot. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot cleaner, in my opinion at least. Probably one of my favorite knots. Um, and this is my favorite tie, I know it's random to say, but I have like 20 ties at least. And this is my favorite tie. Well, one of them. I have a few favorite ties. Um, but this one is just the way it ties. It ties really cleanly. It looks nice. It's got a good color to it. And it's 100% silk, so it's really soft. I loved soft. Um, that's just me. But for this tie, since, as you can see, the little end does not meet the, uh, the loop, so you're going to need a tie clip or a vest. For me, I usually use a tie clip. As you can see, Batman. I know I'm weird. Um, but what you do, just take it, put it, uh, the tie clip usually right across the bottom of the, t uh, the lend. So, I'll show you guys. There we go. Just put it right across there. And some tie clips are a little shorter than others and won't go all the way across the tie. Um, some are a little bit longer for like the fatter ties. So just find your medium, try to find a good tie clip. Um, and you want to have it up, like, kind of around where your pocket's at. You don't want to have it down here, because that's just going to look weird. You want to have it up towards the top of the tie. But the bottom of the tie ends right a little bit past my waist. Um, I tied it a little bit longer than usual. Probably could have made it a little shorter, maybe right there. But that's just me. I don't like to have the tie a little bit longer than my waist. It's kind of weird for me. I like to have it right at my waist. I'm weird like that, I know. But, yeah. Um, that is the full Windsor knot. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, there's someone mowing the lawn outside. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that. Um, but yeah, that is the full Windsor. Um, I'll show you guys how to tie some more. The Trinity, the Eldridge, uh, 
the Cape Knot. There's a bunch of other ones that I can show you um, that I will show you guys a little bit later on. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, click that like button or favorite, either or, whichever you want. <laughs> Um, and uh, show some support, maybe share it to your friends, show them, get them tying ties, looking fancy. Um, if you want to see more from me, click subscribe, so that way you can stay up to date with what I'm doing. I'll have more tutorials, I will have more Let's Plays, I'll will have. i be starting doing magic once I find a good uh, way to have my camera set up, because right now it's kind of wonky, it got, it's stupid, I don't even want to talk about it, it's just stupid how I have it right now. But... Once I get that figured out, I will be starting to do a few more magic, um, magic stuff. But uh, yeah, um, click the subscribe button if you want to. Um, means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Stay classy, America.